roll. Ready to rock and roll, brother. Hair's looking good. Is it looking a lot better than <laughs> yeah, last time? Yeah, it's looking better. Okay. Welcome back to Two Nerdy Families, or sorry, let me just... Hey, welcome back. Bryce and Johnny here from Two Nerdy Families, where we do the research so you don't have to. <laughs> Re research. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> We're doing our part two, a TV wall mount. If you guys haven't checked it out already, our TV wall mount part one video, we did that one last time to get this mount on the wall and it took quite a while. How long yeah. were we there doing that? Maybe an hour? Yeah. So we're gonna see what the tiny difference is on, on uh, this other wall mount. So this is the just the TV wall mount for 37 to 70 inch TVs. It looks good, you know, but it just wasn't what I'm looking for. And so, as promised, we got the picture frame TV wall mount mounted, right? And this one's really simple, really easy, and I think that we should just take this TV off, throw it up there, and let you guys see how simple and honestly ineffective, or not ineffective, hello, <laughs> inexpensive this thing is. This one right here, 50 bucks, 20 bucks. I, I do wanna say this is uh, wall mounts that are super slim that you don't do a lot of the adjusting. So if you're looking for to be angled at a certain angle, pull it out to, to maneuver it, these mounts are not it, okay? These are flat against the wall, slim, you know, low profile all around. So now we're gonna be taking this TV down and you guys will see how long it's gonna take us to do the assembling of the mount it. Here's just a quick look at uh, the tools we're gonna need. We uh, just need a drill, tape measure, and some drill bits. And uh, that's pretty much it. This one's gonna be a lot easier than the last time. Oh, <laughs> a lot easier. All right, there's not a whole lot of uh, material you need. So, Bryce, he's already made holes in my wall. There's brand new sheetrock. So it's just two of these? Just the two. Wow. Isn't that the nice thing, it's only two little things. So inside this, they give you two, so if, it's, if your uh, holes are extra long, you're more than welcome to do that. So these go at the very bottom of the TV. And what it is is so when it goes against the wall, you can push it up so if you ever have to get inside of the TV, but in reality, it's gonna sit there nice and flush. So it looks like those just mounted right in there. That sounds like a little rubber pad that sits against the wall. Mm -hmm. Just to make it so that it's it doesn't, uh, Scrape that wall. It's basically yeah. hanging like a picture. And you can see, like, those are nice and solid into the studs that we marked last time. All right, now let's mount away. So close, but so far away. I know, right? So what we could do is, oh, you've got one in a stud, so it's not going to fall off the wall, but I'd bring one in a little bit closer yeah. with your anchor. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to pre-drill for one of these anchors, and we're going to actually screw into this anchor a little bit closer to this other one here. On a 16 on center, we may have been just off a little bit that is just close, but not close enough. Like I said, those uh, nice little back things. Just kind of rests against the wall. Let's show everybody what we have back here. Yeah. So you can see just at the top here that uh, we've got those 
the wire on those two uh, top brackets. Down here you got little kickstands to give Johnny some space as he's plugging it in there. And then we'll then those just set right against the wall there. Keep it from damaging the wall over time. Pretty cool. Well, I mean, it definitely was a <laughs> lot faster than last time. We had a couple hiccups, but probably what half the time from the other mount that we installed. Yeah. So silly me, I was thinking, oh yeah, man, I got this with the smaller one, you know, and because I like to keep it nice and really nice and tight and flat. Um, but we had it too far out, and this the smaller one didn't work, so we took that off put on the lar larger one and even then we noticed <laughs> that the, the brackets were too far apart um, and so yeah if you have 16 on center studs which most homes do and, and some commercial buildings and so just be mindful that if you find your studs you probably want to come in just a little bit so you're on the insides of both studs if you want to get into that otherwise they have the anchors which we yeah. ended up using one of but all in all simple easy and it's slim 20 bucks can't go wrong no definitely not anyway hope you liked our video leave us some comments tell us what you liked or didn't like and uh be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already all right catch you on the flippity flop that's it from two nerdy families we'll see you next time peace